folks, welcome to part four, or week four, of the 15 minute daily guitar workout. Um, if you've been following this, or you've been, whether it's right from the beginning when I uploaded them, or you've just joined us with this, um, hopefully you've had almost 30 days of guitar practice, and you will have seen some pretty vast improvements in your playing and uh, knowledge, perhaps, uh, as well. So as per parts one to three, we've got to split this 15 minutes up into three sections again, technique, theory, and ear training. Here we go. So we're going to begin to try and tie all of these sections together now and looking at our theory section that we looked at last week which was the series of tones and semitones in a major scale we're now going to apply that to the guitar on one string. So we're looking at tone, tone, semitone, tone, 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 semitone uh, and starting on the E string because it's an open note we can try we're going to follow that pattern up and you end up with the numbers tab-wise of this 0, 2, 4, 5, 7, 9, 11 and 12 which is the octave 12, 11, 9, 7, 5, 4, 2, 0 so I want you to play that, learn it, I want you to play it for 5 minutes every day it doesn't matter how you play it, you can alternate pick it, you can hammer and pull off the notes, it's up to you. doesn't matter how you do it, you just want to get that pattern under your fingers. Now, if that's the E major scale, if you start on this open note, this being the B string, then you're going to end up with B major, and the same with the next string, G, G major, D, so, so on and so forth. So basically you're going to learn five major scales by learning this one pattern of notes on one string. This week's theory section basically is taking a, a next step really into um, the ma major scale harmony and major scale theory and I'm not going to talk to you about how that's done. I've got a video you can check out at the bottom and there's loads and loads and loads of uh, videos and you know tuition that you can find in relation to this sort of stuff but this is another key fact to try and get into your brain. This pattern is the harmonized major scale and I think coming up in, you know, in a couple of weeks time when things have, you know, the dust has settled around these tuition videos then maybe I will try to explain in more depth how they all link together. But for now what I want you to do is just memorise five minutes a day the following pattern which is major, minor, minor, major, major, minor, diminished. And they are the harmonised, set in stone, harmonised chords of a major scale no matter where you start, you could have C major and you'd end up with C major, D minor, E minor, F major, G major, A minor, B diminished. Or you could have G major and you'd end up with G major, A minor, B minor, C major, D major, E minor, F sharp diminished. But the chord types always stay the same and that's going to really, really help you later on when you're either composing or you're trying to figure out what someone else has done in a song. Okay, so here we are, this is week four, part four, ear training, and there are loads of different ways to train your ears, and one of the best ways of doing it is to literally put on your favourite music, pick up your guitar and try and figure out what's going on, literally just sit there making mistake after mistake after mistake, trying to find out and listen really closely to what's happening, and that's a great way to train your ears. So these, are, these techniques that I've been giving you are just some really formal ways of, of doing it. And you should couple that with, you know, with other ways of doing it. Find something that's enjoyable to you. If it's enjoyable, you're going to want to do it more. The more you do it, the better you get at it. Okay, so we've looked at listening for the notes on the E and the A string in previous weeks. Last week we looked at hearing the difference between major and minor using the names of the notes on the E and the A string. This week we're going to look at intervals. So intervals are the distance between two notes. And there's some really sort of... Um, common intervals and we have specific names for those in, the, in musical terms and we're going to try and listen out for those because once you get to hear those movements then you'll be able to kind of play them on the guitar figure out where they're going and that's going to speed up your brain's ability and your fingers ability to figure out what someone else has played and play along to it. So if we start with our root note of A which is the as you should know by now, the fifth, fifth fret on the E string, so E, F, F sharp, G, G sharp, A. That's going to be our bass and basis note, and we're going to do everything from there. 
and I'm going to jump to various different intervals if you like and we'll, we'll concentrate on let's just concentrate on three intervals for you to try and really listen to. Uh, the first one we're going to jump to is the perfect fourth. So the first interval then, perfect fourth, if you think about your major scale that we played, one, two, three, four, there it is. So get used to listening to that interval, the distance between this note and that note. The next one is the perfect fifth. And the next one we're going to look at is the major third. Now I'm going to actually give you that at the octave. So in fact while we're at it you may as well listen for the minor third as well. So you can hear the difference going happy, major, sad, minor. So this is going to help you with note recognition, it's going to help you figure out melodies that are happening, it's going to help you to chords and you know chord recognition, that sort of stuff. So just like the last three weeks, I will give you a blank screen, we'll do everything from A, so I really want you to concentrate on just the interval, so I'm not going to try and trick you in any way, it's just a matter of trying to figure out if it's a perfect fourth, or a perfect fifth, or a major third, or a minor third. Okay, before I go to the blank screen then and I give you some intervals to play along to, I just want to say a huge thank you to everybody that subscribed and commented and, and basically joined in during this um, session, if you like. Uh, it uh, means a lot to me. I put the videos up because I think they might be of use to people for no other reason other than that, really. So uh, I hope you get something out of them and be sure to get in touch with me on Facebook and Twitter because I tend to get some ideas for what people want to listen to and what people want to learn by, the, by those channels so get in touch with me there and then make a suggestion and hopefully I'll have time to knock a video together for you. Okay right we'll take it easy, uh, best of luck with this and perhaps in a, in a couple of weeks we'll do a round roundup of the four weeks and I'll show you what my uh, what I was thinking about when I put, put it together really. Alright take care, see you later.